Hello guys, today I want to proudly present my new course on my Teachable platform called 10 plus Laravel refactoring examples. And what do I mean by plus? That this course will be ongoing. This is my first experiment with ongoing course. So I have currently 11 lessons launched with various refactoring examples. But if you have more ideas for real life scenarios, I'm planning to continue with this course with more and more lessons in the future. So in this video, I'm going to show what's inside. And also at the end of the video, I have a deal and offer for you. So watch until the end. The idea for this course was in my head for like half a year or so, because I've noticed the pattern while working with a lot of projects that in the middle of the project, if something in the code is not ideal or even bad pattern or something, developers usually are kind of afraid to touch it, afraid to refactor if it's in the core of the system for two reasons. First, they don't have time because they are busy with new features. And also, as the old saying goes, don't touch what works. So there's not enough benefit to go back and touch some code, which is not ideal, but you don't remember exactly how it is written. So you don't want to take that risk on yourself. In this course, I decided to show 10 or more examples of how such refactorings may be implemented. And this is where the logo of the course is really important. Red green refactor. Red green refactor is a typical cycle of improving the code based on automated tests on PHP unit tests. So for all of those examples, there will be GitHub repositories available with PHP unit feature tests available. So the process is this before refactoring. So you notice that you need to change something, then you write automated tests for the old functionality. So you would be able to make sure that the functionality still works after the refactoring. So I will go through those examples one by one. So for example, if you have store and update controller methods, which are really similar, how to extract that into form request class or similar example with even more logic, for example, observer. And then more examples, like for example, if you want to rename the full model with database table, what if you want to extract HTML into blade components and other ways how to improve your code without changing the logic, without changing the functionality, but just refactor the code to make it better, reusable, flexible, and maintainable for the future. And that course about Laravel refactoring examples is my last course that I've planned for 2021. And I have achieved the goal of 12 courses in 12 months. So you can see the list. I have my own Google sheet of list of my courses that I've released. For now, I don't have specific plans for January 2022, but I will come up with something. I have a lot of ideas, but from February with new Laravel 9 release, I plan to update majority of my courses for new Laravel version. And if you want to get all of these and all of those for free upgraded, I want to offer you a deal. So you can get all of that in a yearly membership, which is a bundle of all the courses and one year ahead. So you pay $99 plus taxes if that applies to you. Instead of paying individually for all the courses, the price would be like $480 something dollars from what I remember. But not only that, on top of that, I want to offer a deal for you, for those of you who will be active in participating in the courses. So I want to incentivize not the buying of the course, but actually going through that and actually learning something and applying something. So here's what I offer. If you buy yearly membership by the end of 2021 until December 31st, and if you get through at least five of the courses with 50% view rate of each course, so five courses, whichever they are, doesn't matter, older courses, newer courses, doesn't matter, 50% of lessons watched, then you email me povilus at laravelldaily.com and I will refund 50% of your purchase. In other words, if you're active in learning, you will get it cheaper. I think it's a very fair deal because so often I see people buying courses but not actually learning. So with this deal, I want to incentivize actually action from you. So on my teachable dashboard from my side as a teacher, I can check each student's profile and see the progress of each of the course. So here's just an example of one of the students who went through all the better eloquent performance course and flutter 65% and started with GraphQL. I'm not entirely sure how a teachable system measures that. So the lesson probably is finished when you finished watching all the video. So that's why I'm asking not for hundred percent, but for 50% of watch time, because maybe you don't need all of the lessons or you don't watch to the very end, which is fine. But I still think my deal is pretty fair and pretty good. And I will publish a few free lessons of refactoring examples later here on YouTube. 
So watch out for that and support my free YouTube videos by purchasing my courses and see you guys in other videos.